What's happening YTBC? VR number two, still enjoying my double espresso. Ah, really do love coffee. Um, this is a VR for Lady Fire and Flat Cap Piper. Uh, they have a 1000 uh, gram uh, giveaway, which is because they just reached a thousand subs. I want to say they, but uh, it's Flat Cap Piper's uh, channel, but Lady Fire has her own channel now. Um, I'll leave both their links down below. Congratulations, uh, Flat Cap, and to you, Lady Fire. A thousand is simply amazing, but I um, really do like watching your videos. Um, I'm still astonished that, you know, you guys smoke a pipe together and really seem to be enjoying it together. And uh, you do cooking videos, it's just great. And I um, like watching your reviews on tobacco and, you know, how you both perceive the room notes and all that stuff. It's just really, really uh, entertaining stuff. I enjoy it. So congratulations again. Uh, wonderful giveaway you were doing. And uh, you had five questions uh, that you wanted answered. Um, before I go any further, um, in light of the generosity in another giveaway, in the, uh, the Kilted uh, Pipers giveaway, I want to give away my winnings, if I do win, to this guy. So if you don't mind, if I win, I would like him to have it. Very generous, all of you. This whole community is very generous. It never ceases to amaze me how generous and kind and um, just very encouraging the YTPC is. So I, I, I love all you guys. All right, so the questions. Uh, the first one, I have it written down because, you know, not everything sticks. How did you choose your YouTube name? Uh, well, I started off with, uh, uh, I think it was the Green Coblin was my first name, uh, because I was smoking just cobs at the time and, you know, kind of like a, a joke on the Green Goblin. I went with the Green Coblin, but of course my friends wouldn't have any of that. They ridiculed me for that name. So then eventually I changed it to, uh... George Coblin, I think, uh, with the G, and then I got ridiculed that, you know, are you not happy with your Portuguese heritage? What's with the George with the G? So then I changed it to George Coblin, I believe, with a J, and then from there I'm like, maybe people are just going to think my name is George Coblin. So I decided just to change my name altogether, and I went with 416 Piper. Uh, I think it was George 416 Piper, then I went to 416 Piper, and now I'm George 416 Piper again. Yeah, a lot of name changes, but basically my name is George, J-O-R-G-E, and 416 is the area code uh, of where I live, so that's how I came about with George 416 Piper. Now, where are you from and where do you live? Uh, again, the area code 416 is Toronto, that's where I am from. A uh, little suburb, just part of Toronto. Um, well, it was a suburb of Toronto. Now they've, the city's kind of amalgamated, so it's all kind of Toronto now. But that's where I live right now. But I've always been born and raised in Toronto. Uh, I love this city. Um, I have no intentions of ever leaving. I might uh, retire for four or five months at a time in Portugal because that's where my parents are from, and that's where they're currently uh, enjoying their retirement. Uh, so I might do that, obviously, much later on. Well, not that much later on, but later on, that's where I plan to do some retirement. Um, but I love being in Toronto, and I'll never leave. Um, how long have you smoked a pipe? 
Well, I haven't smoked that long. I went back to my notes and my first smoke was on Friday, May 31st, 2019. And my first pipe was a Country Gentleman corn cob, which I don't know why I didn't bring it with me. It was actually a set. I bought a set of two and those were my first two pipes and the tobacco that I smoked in it was uh, New Minster Blackberry. So it's number 23, Blackberry and Brandy, I believe. Um, it took me basically the whole tin of that before I started to figure out how to properly smoke and then I can finally truly appreciate how good uh, that tobacco tasted. So that's it. That's uh, Country Gentleman, May 31st, 2019, and Newminster number 23. Uh, what are you looking forward to most in, pipe, in my pipe smoking journey? Well, hopefully my wife is not watching this, but what I'm looking forward to most in my pipe smoking journey is have my wife accept that I smoke a pipe and not have her roll her eyes and harass me every time I want to go for a smoke or every time I buy a pipe or some new tobacco. Yes, I probably have more pipes than I need and more tobacco than I need considering the amount of smoking I actually do. But let's not tell her this, all right? So yeah, looking forward to the day when she's just fine with me smoking my pipe and then just enjoying George's time. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that day. I don't know when that day is going to arrive, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. And the last question, what other videos do you watch when not watching pipe videos? Lately, uh, any videos that I watch on YouTube uh, will be uh, hockey, NHL hockey themes, sports highlights, th that kind of stuff. But for a while, and I do still watch it from time to time, I was binge watching a lot of jet fighter videos. I, I find uh, jet fighters fascinating. I love the way they look. I love their speed, how they sound. Uh, I love their raw power and, you know, not so, don't love so much the implications of uh, what they, they can be. Um, but I just love fighter jets. Um, my favorites are um, the Saab Gripen from Sweden. Uh, also um, the A-10 Warthog is one of my favorites. Uh, I also like the F... Uh, oh man, I'm having the Raptor. I'm having a brain fart as to what their... Uh, Call uh, F. I can't remember. I like the F thirty five too, despite all their issues. Um, there's a whole bunch I like, but my favorite, probably in terms of appearance and overall capabilities, is the uh, uh, the Salt Rafale from France. I really like the way that looks. I hope I'm not uh, angering my American friends. Uh, they do have the best fighter plane in the world, which for some reason I can't remember what the, it's F something. I'm sure it'll come to me after I, I edit this video, but that's what I like watching when I'm not watching YTPC videos. But uh, honestly, I've been watching so much YTP, YTPC videos and I enjoy watching it when I'm having my pipes that I really don't have the time to watch too many other YouTube videos, but there you have it. Those are my answers. Now you wanted to know or you wanted us to nominate a few people to do this, to answer these five questions. And uh, I'm going to try to encourage some people who don't put out videos or who hasn't put out videos in a while. Um, uh, first being um, Dave, Mr. Grumpy Pants. I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's taking a course in something, uh, last I heard from him. I would like to have him answer these questions if uh, he sees this video. Um, I would like to see Smokin' the Ghost make a video. Uh, 
I've interacted a lot with uh, Greg. I would like to see him put out videos. No pressure, obviously, but uh, hopefully this inspires him to put out a video. And, of course, somebody who I would love to have his own channel. I think he would be uh, a great source of Tabakiana information. And that would be Stonehenge Minstrel. Um, he built, he lived in Toronto actually for a while, so he's uh, also a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs like I am. So that's pretty cool. I would love for him to do. I think we all would love for him to to make some videos. So I'm putting it out there to him to answer these five questions as well. Congratulations, Flat Cap. Congratulations, Lady Fire. Thousand subs, fantastic. Again, I will link all your uh, channels below. Thanks for this wonderful giveaway. And remember, when you smoke a pipe, you smile at life. Cheers and take care.